sitting here for like 15 to 20 minutes waiting for Shelby. Not in Nike World Headquarters and I guess she doesn't want to show up for running with the toad. I, I don't know where she's at. I don't know. Are we going to do this or what? Dang, that's how you make an entrance. <laughs> All right, Richie, rip it. Yeah. All right, what's up, guys? Billy Saveco here. We are here with the Shelby Houlihan. That's right. You guys don't know who she is. She's I'm running 1434 in the 5K, 836 in the 3K. 357 in the 15, 201 in the H. Remember right. them all. <laughs> enough of me, yes, yes. Enough of me, though, or enough of that. Where are we at right now? We are at Michael Johnson Track, uh, Nike World Headquarters. Yeet. That's right. We're going to do some running with the toad around the most beautiful track ever. Got a walking bunch of with the toad. Walking with the toad. <laughs> That's how we do we it. We can pretend we're running. We can. What pace do you think this would be? Our upper bodies. Like upper bodies would be what? 17 minute pace. No, upper bodies going way faster. <laughs> no idea. All right. Running like 25, 200. <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right. So, where did your running career start? Is that something you've always done, or is that a sport you picked up later in your life? Yeah, I started running when I was five. Uh, so I've been doing wow. it for a while. Okay. Yeah. My mom okay. uh, was a professional marathon runner. You don't say. Um, for Asics, and when I was little, she started putting me in one mile cross country races, and I was pretty good at it. So kind of stuck with it, and I've always wanted to run professionally and go to the Olympics and do all these things ever since I was five, so. You've done them all. Not all of them. A lot of them. A lot <laughs> I've done of a them. lot of them. A lot so. of them. I still have some unfinished business. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what other sports, uh, you ever play any other sports growing up or anything like that? Yeah, I tried, uh, I did soccer for a while. Your runner has. Yeah, I, I was pretty good at it just because I was fast. Um, and then basketball, I tried my freshman year of, of high school and that was not that was not great. I was definitely a bench warmer Don't and I'm say. not very tall. I'm five <laughs> three. So <laughs> I would I was a ball hog and I always wanted to shoot the threes and I always missed. So and I couldn't do a layup because I would get going so fast it would just bounce off the backboard every time. <laughs> <laughs> rain dance! Let it rain! Bro, what were your high school times? I was 207 in the 800, 426 in the 15. That's what I would mostly focus on the eight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 55 in the four. If you were to give some advice to a young Shelbo 800 in high school, <laughs> what would it be? Eat better. Eat better? <laughs> Why? I was what? terrible at eating. Oh, uh, how bad? I, I would, before school every morning, I'd go to McDonald's, get a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle, and a Dr. Pepper. Wow. That would be my breakfast almost every morning. Breakfast of you want to run fast? Eat that. <laughs> don't eat, don't eat that. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> I would have like s'mores, pop tarts. Oh, those just, are good. Oh, they're delicious. They're so good. And I would, I would want to eat. I would want to be able to eat more of those. But I can't, <laughs> can't anymore. But yeah, it was really bad. I would tell myself to eat, uh, eat a little better. What's your all-time favorite workout? Like your bread and butter. This is one I love tearing up. My favorite workouts. I have, I have two. Uh, Four mile tempo, four or five mile tempo, and mile repeats after. That is hands down one That's of my favorite one workouts. That's all one workout. Yeah. So we do, usually it's like four mile tempo, uh, six minutes rest, and then we do four by mile with like 90 seconds. It's a long day. Eh? Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, my other favorite workout would be a long run workout. Uh, we do. I just like I like doing long runs. Yes. Um, yes. And when we can put a workout in there and it's like a long grind, I really like that. We do like the last hour at six minute pace and it's just it's hard and you're grinding, but it like it nah. feels good. And you're out. Kind you're just, of. Yeah, no, no, it no. It kind of doesn't feel good, but I like I like when long runs kind of <laughs> become workout. You're like I'm feeling good. Yeah. I'm going. Me and Craig just ran at Leaf Erickson Park the other day or yeah. Leaf Erickson Trail. Yeah. And we were like, wow, this is nice. We're feeling good. And then he comes back and like the last 10 miles were 535 and I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's like, what's your most memorable race? If you had to pick one, I guess you could like kind of. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, hands down, the Olympic trials, 2016. Uh, going into that last lap, I had no idea where anyone else behind me was. I was just trying so hard to get to that line. Um, in one of the top three positions, and as soon as I crossed the line, it was, <laughs> yeah. That was the I, feeling, right? There was a lot of different feelings. I was like excited, and I was like 
there was so much joy and relief that I just like kind of sat down and started crying because it was just like, I don't know, you, you worked for this your, yep. like your whole life. I've been doing it since I was five and once like, I don't know, it was really cool to see everything kind of come together in one moment. So. Dreams can yeah. come true. Exactly. Everyone always dreams or dreams, no, it yeah. can happen and it happens. It can happen. Yeah. Was that one of the first or only times you ever cried from pure happiness? <laughs> no. She cries a lot. <laughs> I do not cry a lot. Alright, well you were thinking about it. So. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. It definitely had it definitely is running related. Next up we got this speed round. <laughs> That's right, boom! What is Shelby H's favorite place to eat? Favorite restaurant? I wanna go back to Sioux City, Iowa. I'm gonna go to Lawanitas. Lawanitas. Burritos, they're so good. Favorite song before a race? Do you have a workout or a pump up song? Like it kind of like? changes. Okay. Um, Right now, 24 Karat Magic, Bruno Mars. I love Bruno Mars. Bruno, he killed I it. I get this down year. with that song. Favorite book? I think that's a bad uh, one. I have a couple. Um, my favorite all time book is The Book Thief. And I also like You Are a Badass. I carry that book around with me. I can travel with it really? and read it before races. Okay. Yeah. Because you are a badass. I'm a badass. Hey. Check out, check out here. Check out here. Check out here. Check out here. You could do a, 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 um, if you could do a field event, what would it be? Uh, I would want to do the long jump. Long jump. Wow. Or like the triple jump. Triple jump? I just, I think it's like, it sounds kind of fun. <laughs> you just like jumping? <laughs> I like to jump. <laughs> Should we be doing that smiling the whole time? Yeah. I would be doing it smiling because I'm having so much fun doing it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that I'd be very good at it, but I'd probably do that. Favorite running shoe? Uh, I I run in the Nike Vimero. I have been running it since my freshman year of college. I not, I don't want to I don't want to mess with it. I've been healthy, so. That's all that matters. Favorite pre-race meal? Pizza. <laughs> really? Well, <laughs> the night before. The night before. <laughs> <laughs> You'll eat pizza. I eat pizza night before. Yeah, I love pizza. How can you not? <laughs> it's not like super greasy pizza. Like it's like kind of healthy. Favorite topping on pizza? I like to do. Well, I don't do this before races. I okay. do pepperoni bacon. Okay. That's okay. great. But yeah, not before races. Before races, I try to do like veggies and chicken. Keep it, keep it more healthy. Eh? Yeah. It's pizza. Favorite board game? Favorite board game. I can only think of Candyland, but I love Candyland. There's nothing wrong with that. That's your favorite then. <laughs> That's my favorite. All right, perfect. All right, guys, this is a quick DM section, last section of the show, and this is a chance for you guys to DM us some questions, and we're going to ask her personally your specific question. Give me your questions. Yee -yee. All right, Izzy Batman wants to know, what's your mindset like during workouts, or um, are you pretty serious during the whole process? Um, I'm gonna say from talking to you, no, but. Yeah, leading up to it, I am not serious. I am having a lot of fun, probably dancing, probably dancing. Um, but once, we, as soon as we like start the workout, I'm laser focused, trying to hit the paces, and yeah, just getting the job done. All right, Chris's Kunis wants to know, you still have all your toenails. <laughs> I have never lost a toenail. Really? No, not once. So yes, I have all my toenails. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'm not working hard enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ian Carter 94 wants to know. <laughs> Is that actually his? <laughs> he wants to know, yes. Would you go on a run with him sometime? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> so, James Murray Good wants to know. This might be a weird one. Can no. you preface it with that? Yeah, yeah. He said, what is the name of your cat and why don't you have a dog? That's a good question. <laughs> My cat's name is Miko and I don't have a dog because I don't really like them that much. What do you think of toads? <laughs> <laughs> kind of slimy and gross. Wow. <laughs> We're done. No. See you later. <laughs> All right, hitting you up from Princess Ray Ray. What are some of your favorite things to do in Iowa? It depends where I'm at. Um, like I said, if I'm going to go back home, Sioux City, Iowa, I want to go to La Juanitas, get a burrito. Um, otherwise, my favorite place in Iowa, we have a lake house 
in Okaboji. If you haven't been there, you should go because it's awesome. <laughs> um, and we have like jet skis, uh, oh, we have yeah. a boat, paddle boat, oh, uh, yeah. some kayaks. So anytime I'm out in the water is a good time. And there's also a snow cone place there and I secretly really love snow cones. They know me by name and they, as soon as they see me, they like already have my snow cone. Like they're prepping it and getting it ready. <laughs> <laughs> I get cherry, black cherry, tiger spot with sour sugar every time. That's the level I want to be on <laughs> at the snow cone place. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much for being on this episode, Running with the Toad. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment on below. Who else you want to see on here? Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Yer! Yer! <laughs> Is that how you say it? <laughs> Yer! Why do you love Harry Potter so much? I heard you watched the movies and thought you were a true wizard. And you didn't even read the books. True you didn't read the books. No, shh. <laughs> Got it! Got it! Got it! <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I shouldn't have said that.